Cobbiz. Hello and welcome to Cobbiz. My name is Shalin and in today's video we will learn about another upcoming and lucrative business opportunity related to rubber industry. Yes, we are talking about the synthetic rubber industry. So, to begin with, let's understand the opportunities in this segment of business and the associated legalities when starting up business in this synthetic rubber industry. Synthetic rubber is a type of artificial rubber that is created using chemicals. Synthetic rubber has gained popularity and is replacing natural rubbers in many areas due to its advantages like long-lasting nature, abrasion resistance, fireproof, flexibility and naturally high mechanical strength. On top of this, synthetic rubber is also less toxic and environmental friendly. In India, the demand for synthetic rubber in the financial year 2021 stood at 671,000 tons and is projected to reach at 1055,000 tons by 2030. This is due to various factors such as increasing demand in automobiles, the growth of construction industry and the growing demands for consumer goods that are driving this demand. Now, there are also some benefits of using synthetic rubber. Let's have a look at them. First is durability. So, synthetic rubber is known for its excellent durability and resistance to wear and tear. This makes it useful in high stress applications such as tires, hoses and gaskets. Next is the chemical resistance. Synthetic rubber is resistant to a wide range of chemicals, making it ideal for use in applications where chemical exposure is a concern. The next advantage is the extreme temperature resistance. So, synthetic rubber can withstand whole so, synthetic rubber can withstand hot and cold temperatures, making it essential ingredient for use in applications where the temperature fluctuations are a concern. The next advantage is its elasticity. Synthetic rubber is highly elastic, which makes it a perfect component where flexible materials are required, such as seals and gaskets. The next advantage is related to its versatility. Synthetic rubber can be formulated to meet specific performance requirements, making it a versatile product that can be used in many applications. The next advantage is cost effectiveness. So, synthetic rubber is often less expensive than natural rubber and can be produced in a large quantity, making it a cost effective commodity for various applications. Now, if we talk about the availability of this material, unlike natural rubber, which is sourced from natural rubber trees, Synthetic rubber can be produced from petroleum-based monomers, making it a readily available material that can be produced in large quantities. Now, let's look at the varieties of synthetic rubber that are in demand today. So, as we know, synthetic rubber is manufactured using different chemicals. These chemicals can produce various synthetic varieties such as acrylic rubber or ACM, butadiene rubber or BR, butyl rubber or IIR, chlorosulfonated polyethylene or CSM also called hyopalon, ethylene propylene diene monomer or EPDM, fluoroelastomers or FKM, isoprene rubber or IR, nitrile rubber or NBR, perfluoroelastomer or FFKM, polychloropene or CR also known as neoprene, polysulfide rubber or PSR, silicon rubber and styrene butadiene rubber also called SBR. Now, to set up a synthetic rubber business, one must have an idea of the manufacturing process involved. So, the following process is followed while manufacturing synthetic rubber. The first stage is mixing of hydrocarbons. Various hydrocarbons such as oil, coal, etc. are mixed and refined. This mixing creates products that are used to produce plastics and gasoline. The next step is creating monomers. The mixing of hydrocarbons creates naphtha, which is then blended with different types of natural gases to create monomers. These monomers strands are bonded together to make polymers. The next stage is creating polymers. Once the monomer production is complete, the monomers like nitrile rubber, styrene butadiene rubber, etc. will be fused with chemical agents to form the polymers. At the next stage, the production plant will create numerous polymers forming rubber substances or compounds. These compounds will later be refined to form the synthetic rubber. The next step involves vulcanization. This is the final step in the manufacturing process. Here, rubber substances will be subjected to a process called vulcanization. So, if you are interested in doing this business, you must be aware about the licenses that will be needed. So, let's first see the documents that will be needed. 
these include copy of certificate of incorporation of the company photo id proof of the ownership self attested aadhar and pan card details of the firm details of the investment iec code in case of export import details of the project report trade license utility and electricity bill pollution noc compliance report of the noc satellite imagery of the project site effluent treatment certificate the authorized letter in case of an authorized person now talking about the licenses apart from manufacturing license the entrepreneur will also need some other licenses and approvals including the consent noc in the orange category environmental clearance if applicable msme registration fire noc factory license and cgwa noc in case of groundwater abstraction lastly the entrepreneur must also take care of some preconditions for the grant of licenses as per the directions of the department of chemical and petrochemicals related to the following aspects appropriate site selection for the business ownership of technology and expertise for the business availability and constant supply of raw materials economic feasibility of the project so if you are thinking of starting a synthetic rubber business or any other related business you can contact cobbis from the details given below cobbis can assist you with all the legal and procedural formalities required in starting your business our experts can assist you with the application process to the department of chemicals and petrochemicals and manage all other required permits and approvals so that was all for this video if you found it informative please like and subscribe thank you for watching